Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning Master of Pencil Strategy in the previous episode. I can't remember what to do in the last episode, I don't remember, but this time I'm going to go in and we're going to try it. I'm going to go and do hard mode as the lost and we're going to try and do the it's the key challenge. For those of you that don't know, let me go and have a look. Isaac, it's the key. This is a very strange one, but this is keys are allowed, we can pick up keys. But any other consumable, any hearts, any bombs, any pennies, are not allowed. We can pick up tarot cards, runes, and pills. Item rooms are okay to enter, and items are okay to take, even if they give us consumables. Deal with the devils are okay, and we have to beat the lamb for it to count. So, we're going to be playing as the Lost, because the Lost is, while a kind of hard character, um, has the best chance just because he can fly and has spectral so we can avoid picking stuff up so we don't want to pick up either of those the the one thing i will say is it's going to be very very difficult uh oh my pencil's great it's gonna be very very difficult to remember that's gonna be the hardest thing about this is going to be remembering the the fact that we can't pick these specific things up just because it's such a natural thing such like an automatic thing to pick them up so essentially if we fail this challenge it's going to be because i pick something up without thinking about it but we gotta remember we can only pick up keys don't pick up a single other thing no bombs no nothing not a single one so as long as we can remember that and as long as we don't accidentally run into something or get forced to walk into um some sort of item like we don't want to destroy these poops really because it could drop coins and they could get in the way. The certain room designs that are going to make it harder, such as this here, look. We really, we want to destroy the poops and just hope they don't drop stuff, essentially. Um, we want to hopefully get, as well, uh, an item that gives us bombs. Pyro giving us 99 bombs would be the perfect thing, really. One for secret rooms, but two, then we can bomb coins and things out of the way if they are uh, in the way. Things that are, uh, are too hard to get around normally, we could just bomb out of the way. But lead pencil here is a fantastic item to start. Um, and of course, Lost is a bit of a difficult character, but I do think he's the best one to go for this with, just because, like I said, the Flight and Spectral tiers are so useful. Also, him starting with the Eternal D6 now does make him a little bit better off, I think, um, just for getting better items in general. Because basically, any item that any item that we'd want to reroll, we can uh, quite easily reroll. Imagine doing this challenge as the Keeper, though. N oh shit! Not allowed to pick up coins. Okay, that's you gone, and that's you gone. Got to remember, we can go into cash rooms for free as well. We do have Holy Mantle at the moment. We're not Tainted Lost. We have played plenty of Tainted Lost, but we have not got any need to uh, to not go into cash rooms. It's very worthwhile to. God damn, it's honestly, it's going to be so hard to just remember that I can't pick these things up. I swear to God, I know for a fact that halfway through this challenge, we're going to lose just because I end up accidentally picking something up. Because it's so easy to do on some rooms. Like, even even things like chests. We legit just shouldn't ever open chests. Because the consumables can go everywhere and you can accidentally pick them up so easily. I legit just think the best way to play it is to just not even attempt. Not even attempt to go for that. Um, it is going to be kind of hard trying to survive through lime and everything as well. Uh, we, we, do, we do only get our holy, holy mantle here. Uh, we can pick up items, but honestly, don't really care about that. Obviously, we don't care about that. We've got no chance of getting ourselves a um, of getting ourselves a reroll on that. So let's just go. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, carry on and hope this works. Carry on and hope this works. So yeah, these chests are fine to open because we can get pills out of them uh, and such. But we don't want to pick up any soul hearts. It gives us anything like that. We've got to be very, very cautious and careful about how we approach certain things. Rooms like this are just just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. We've got to be very careful as well, because the Curse of the Maze could easily move around rooms, move around consumables. We could be entering a room that we don't realise. There's our first key. Oh my god, Curse of the Maze is striking hard right now. This is kind of a hard room. I'm hoping that our uh, Monstro's Lung Shots manage to kill most things for us. Oh... It's just, it's scary. And I, basically, I've just got to keep, we'll, we'll take this. I've just got to keep the mantra in my head. Just remember and constantly pay attention to, to like room drops and stuff. Just keep it in my head. We cannot pick them up. We cannot pick them up. We cannot pick them up because otherwise it's going to happen. Otherwise it's going to happen. 
And always, always, when a room ends, be nowhere near the middle of that room. Because we're near the middle of said rooms, we're going to have uh, that situation where a coin could drop directly on top of us. Now, playing as other characters especially, that's kind of a thing that happens quite a lot. A coin will drop in the middle of a room and you'll automatically pick it up, something like that. We honestly probably don't want to take perfection as the trinket, because obviously we're playing as the lost, so we will get perfection as our trinket here. Um, but we, we honestly don't want to touch it. Because if we um, if we grab perfection, we're going to get room drops way more reliably, chests way more reliably, and we really don't want that. Now, one thing could be said for that, though. We could take it because getting chests is better, because if we hit a chest, it doesn't count as uh, picking up a consumable, and we get more keys out of it. But at the same time, it's a, it's a bit of a risk. So let's go in here. I'm going to reroll that. Oh, that's that's tempting. That's tempting. I think we go for another reroll on it though. I realize that me rerolling at the minute is probably a bad idea because I'm probably losing out on quite a lot of good stuff. Uh, but multi-dimensional baby's not exactly the the best of bests, is it? Okay, we're gonna monstrous one on this shot or next shot. There you go. Okay, we can stay completely out of the way of these guys. Very nice. There's a bomb. No, thank you. We gotta go and do our boss and then come back so that we have our charge for our eternal D6. Of course, the eternal D6 does give us a 50% uh, chance of just completely deleting the item when we go to reroll it. That's the kind of the gimmick of the Eternal D6. But that's the risk we take. We could lose out on some good stuff, but that is the risk we take. One bad thing that I will say is not having bombs for combat is kind of annoying. I tend to like to, um, or at least recently, have been liking um, using bombs to speed up boss fights quite a bit. So we can't unfortunately do that, like I said, unless we get something like Pyro that makes it significantly more viable. Ooh, this is kind of a hard this is kind of a hard boss fight without bombs as well. Okay, good. Just keep him away from me. Make sure he doesn't shit any kids on me. There we go. Should be just about dead here. And there you go. Nice one. I'll take that. And we'll go to our deal the devil as well, because we can take him. That is a very, very good haul on our stats there. Um I don't think either of those work. We reroll. Um, that also doesn't help. This is kind of annoying. We are not getting very lucky at all so far with our items, but we did at least get some good stat ups there. But item wise, we're really not in a good spot. Curse of the Lost, indeed, Curse of the Lost. We are the Lost, and it is a curse. Okay, do not stand over the top of poops either. That is another very, very bad idea. Because if we accidentally destroy it while shooting, because we've got spectral tears, we're going to find that we're in a p pretty bad spot when a coin drops out of it. And you just know that it will. You just know that it will. Okay, don't steal my charge. I don't really care that much because it's only a two-room charge, but I'd still rather you not. Got uh, an additional bomb there. Good. Ooh, that was kind of close. Please don't drop anything in the middle of this room. Small rooms like this are very scary because of that. Oh, there's a penny. Okay, stay out of the way of that. We don't really care about that. When we get low on keys, I'll start opening chests, but until that day, I'm not going to do anything. Right. Be aware of walking through the middle of rooms when trying to backtrack as well. That's another thing that could really screw us. Just got to be careful about where we stand in our location. A, a very stressful time, this run. Ooh, holy water. Very, very good for us. Very much like holy water. I'm kind of, I know that Holy Water's already very good, so it doesn't need to, but I'm kind of surprised it doesn't increase your angel chance at all. Like, Holy Water seems like something that definitely should. But, of course, we all know now Holy Water got a pretty big buff. It's pretty incredible. God, now I need to stop getting near these poops. The poops are scary. Oh, we can't pick up Red Hearts anyways, but that was a bit too close for comfort there. One thing I will say is our Holy Water doesn't have Spectral. It's not going to be able to go over rocks when we're shooting over rocks. It's going to end up hitting the rock itself. That is going to slow down our, our ability to use that a little bit, but not so much, sir. So. Another penny there. Guess the lost here is not good. Oh, ha, ha. yes, holy water. There's a key. Great stuff. Key is very, very nice. Seen that item room this floor. Nice, holy water coming in clutch again. Also, Holy Water is going to make it, it like work quite well as a defensive item as well, because it freezes enemies in place. Um, let's try and get one there. There you go. The bomb there. Don't accidentally take that. That actually killed quite a lot of enemies there. 
Unfortunately, <clears throat> there is no entering that door unless we get uh, bomb tiers or something similar. Or pyro. But even then, pyro is only a secret room item, I think. So it's going to be kind of hard for us to find. I will crack this open in the rare chance that we got a, a key out of it. Well, I, I wouldn't even say rare. They're, they're pretty common, but still. Okay, you go down, please. And yourself. Come on. There you go. Right. Boss time. Good, good. This boss shouldn't be too hard at all. He can be a little annoying with his peeper's eyes, but as, as long as we're getting the holy waters out there and actually hitting him with them reliably, I think we should be okay. And there you go. That's another hit. It just does so much damage and obviously freezes him in place, making hitting him much, much easier. Step out the way. See if we get an angel deal or anything. So there is perfection. I think we do take it for now, but we want to be swapping it out. We want to be swapping it out. Uh, Pentagram also really, really good here. Really, really good indeed. Cash room here straight away. Red key. Okay, red key. Hmm. I think we do take red key. I think we do take red key. Yeah, just stay out, as long as we stay out in the middle of the room, having extra drops shouldn't matter too much. Because like I said, we're going to get a lot of chests like that. Okay. So we're not going to be doing any sort of order or anything with our red key. We're just going to be kind of going for it. We've got an arcade. Interesting. Do you know what? Let's open these. If they're in like dead end rooms like that, we can open them. We've, we've already got one key, actually. We shouldn't be opening. We've already got one key. We should only start opening chests once we get low. Okay. Oh god, the holy water patch lasts for so long as well. Good stuff. That's really good, especially with high luck. I don't know if it gets affected by luck. I'm pretty sure it does. But I'm not going to guarantee that it does. There's a sack. No, thank you. Oh, yes. Having high luck is scary. We just... One thing I need to avoid as well is we don't want too much speed. I think having a lot of speed is probably a bad idea for us right now. Because we're going to end up careening into a room and picking something up that we don't want. Oh, also another thing there. There was a luck penny in that room, but we can't grab luck pennies. It's a little bit upsetting on that front. There's another key there. There we go. We found it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And we get two keys, which is great. We also get the soul, which is also great. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of freezing effects now as well because we got Mum's contact on top of everything. Very nice. I like freezing effects. Getting enemies out of our face is really, really good. Yeah, just be aware of where we're situated. Be aware of like not being in the middle of the room. Rooms like this are really the worst ones for us, especially with poops like that. This is why we need bombs. Because if both of those, if both of those poops had have spawned a um, had a spawned a penny. And a bomb spawn in the middle like it has, we literally wouldn't be able to get past that room. So, that's where having bombs is super, super valuable. Right, freeze you. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird one with having, having high luck. It's got a lot of benefits, but also it's got a lot of negatives associated too. It's, it's adding on to some of the risk factor of the run, but it's the key. But it is giving us a lot of advantage as well. There's another key. Great stuff. We do have plenty of keys now, so we're kind of good on that front. By the way, I'm not using red keys. We've already found our thingy room. I'm not going to risk it by going into a bunch of extra rooms. I know that I could find, like, angel rooms and stuff, but it's just not worth the risk. Um, I'm going to open both of these. Yeah. Just in case we get items. And they're pretty safe because they're contained on islands. Okay, this is frail. Yeah. Oh, that's a really, really good hit by um by that there. Oh, what the hell? His body split. Is this is this normal? Is this normal? I've literally never seen this version of frail before. I don't believe this is normal. I don't believe this is how he normally acts.
Odd. Very odd. Angel deal is good. Salvation, while a little bit saucy, is pretty good. Um, we, we can't get hit, so unfortunately we can't grow its radius at all. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but it's a very, very good item if we can get in there. If we can actually use it and utilize it. Like that look. Because it, it hits the enemy that we're on. M maybe we wait for holy water to proc and then use it on the holy water enemies. Good stuff. Is that not it? Okay, that's not it. I suppose just, just make sure we're using it on specific types of enemies is the best way to do it. Red chest there, that could be good. A soul heart, make sure we don't pick that up accidentally. Also, the radius is a little bit, a little bit generous. It's a little bit bigger than uh, than you'd actually expect considering the visual. As you can see, every now and again, we're managing to hit enemies that it doesn't look like we can. But yeah, I think I think using holy water enemies that are frozen to do this is the best way. I think strength's a little better here. Um, we can pop that up and just run away. That's why I want to pop it open, because we can get items. Although, this item's not very good. It's still an item, nonetheless. Oh, the soul here is so nice as well. Right. Basically, the, the key the key here, it's the key that we just do not forget. We just don't let, we don't let ourselves have a lapse in judgment and think, oh, yep, just pick that up, because that's that's going to be bad. And I'm, I'm almost certain, I am almost certain that I'm going to accidentally pick something up and continue the complete rest of the challenge like I haven't. I'm sure I'm going to do something along those lines, but let's uh, let's at least for now be uh, be happy that I haven't so far, or at least I think I haven't so far. It's it's it's, it's a difficult challenge. It's so it's so not normal. Oh, salvation, so very good, so very good. Okay, good. That's a penny. Do not pick that up. Forget me now, unfortunately, cannot be grabbed by us. We cannot take that. Okay. Yeah. It is unfortunate that uh, we got forget me now there. But I actually think we've got a pretty good run going here, to be honest. I actually think the run that we have made is uh, pretty decent. Okay, key. We can grab that. Bombs, we cannot grab those. Oh god, it's so weird. It's so strange. It's such a such a, a very peculiar peculiar way to play the game. I do think that having the luck is actually more of a help than a hindrance, because we're getting more chests, which is way less risky for us. Just stay out the middle of the screen here. There's another key. That's fantastic. Of course, we want as many of them on the go as possible. Yes. Just using salvation on frozen enemies is 100% a certified amazing tactic. <laughs> Look at that. Another key. We found it again. Nice. Good, good. There's a red chest. We can open that up pretty safely. We got ourselves this, which is a tears up. I don't. I didn't actually see what the last thing said there. It said allows angel deals to do something. What? What's? What's that called again? Let, let me go and find out because I, I missed what that said there. Platinum God. I can't even remember what this item's called. Um. Oh, there it is. Allows angel rooms to appear even if a deal the devil has been taken before. Okay. Not exactly useful for us because we've already had angel deals, but it's interesting to know. It's interesting thing to note. Good. How's it going? Good, good, good. We haven't been to our shop. Luckily, one good thing about this run is it's very, very simple to know what we what we can and can't do. Like, going into shops and arcades is just pointless for us. Um, stuff like that. Speed up, I'm actually gonna just, like I said earlier, not gonna take that. Um, this doesn't matter, unfortunately. We'll take duality, though. Duality's actually kind of good here. I, I like the I like the ability to go angel deals or devil deals here. But yeah, we're going to completely leave the speed upgrade because I actually don't want my speed to be much higher than this. I think that this is a, a very good place to be sitting at. Okay. I'm just... All I'm worried about at the minute is bad rooms for us um, doing what we want to do. It's so easy to come across rooms that just 
are kind of incompatible with it's the key. That's a speed up as well. Again, I'm not going to take that. Should just be the two. There's another key. Every time I pick up a key, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, am I doing this right? Even though I know I can pick up keys. It's kind of stupid, but at the same time, it's staying extra safe. So, it can't be a bad thing if I'm staying safer than I would be otherwise. Another key. Getting a lot of key drops here, that's great. Okay, there's one of these, uh, two of you guys over here. These guys are really annoying enemies, so hope we can take them out quickly. Another cash room here, awesome. Gimpy, Gimpy's bad because it's just gonna drop hearts everywhere. We don't need it. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to, to re-roll it. But there's no point picking up Gimpy because it's just, just going to drop hearts everywhere. And I know that we can't pick up the hearts, but I still think it's a bad idea to, to grab it anyways. It's just, why would we? Um, Looking for my red rooms here. Yeah, let's just keep going this way. Oh, the stress. The stress of this run is too much. There's a chest. Good, good. Hate these enemies so much. Having them be able to be frozen is very nice. Do not pick up that bomb, whatever we do. I'm kind of just as worried as well about how well this is going and the fact that we could just die. Like, it's it's possible that we just fail by dying. Here we get... That's actually decent. We'll take that. Hey, we found it again. Really good. God damn, the amount of freezing we're getting. Oh, I stood in the middle of the room there. What was I doing? Void? Oh, god damn, this is annoying because we're just getting stuff that I just don't care about. Void is interesting, but at the same time, I, I, I feel like I should take it and just void red key. Just because I know that it increases the charge, charge time of red key. But it at least means we can get extra stats from all these items we're leaving behind. And I know that there's a chance that we get speed and we don't want speed. But I still think, I still think this is the better way to go about it. I think Void is decent. It's decent enough. <sighs> Would like more range as well, so I'd have to stand quite as close to um, the middle of the screen. I think the, um, the, the Halo thing can do extra damage. Uh, sorry, do extra freezing. That's a double soul heart right at the door here. Um, we have seen our item room. We have seen our super secret room. We could try and void Gimpy. I know that I really should try and go and do it. But honestly, I think I'm just going to leave considering the soul hearts in this room. And I know for a fact I'm going to end up touching them. Oh my god, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. That was so good. Uh, we need to take the negative here. We've got to fight the lamb. And that's good because we get damage out of it anyways. And we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stress full. Holy shit, this room might kill me. Thank God we could freeze them because that room is horrendous. <laughs> wow. I've not seen a room that bad in a while. This is also another horrendous room. Thank God for the soul. That's all I'll say. The soul is saving us so hard right now. I got hit again. Fuck me. Holy hell. Cash room here. Wait, what? There's a cash room off of... Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Do we just keep going through, I guess? Have we just skipped some rooms here? I think we have. Oh, holy water plus one of these dudes is kind of funny. Right, don't stand near the middle of the screen. What are we doing? Might take, might make rooms take a little longer, but it's the safest way to play it. Good. Oh, god damn, the freezing. It's so good. Yeah, honestly, the fact that chests are dropping instead of other stuff is so unbelievably good for us. Because it just means there's no risk if I was accidentally running into it. Because if we accidentally run into the room and hit it, 
we just open a chest and we've got a second chance to not uh, not take it sort of thing. That's you dead. Oh shit, I didn't realise that was you. I didn't realise it was this dude. Okay, I had to just get holy water in there to kill him. Screw is really nice here. Um, lovely little uh, demonstration here of the um, of the patch that I've got that fixes duality to make it so it works on rooms it wouldn't normally work on. I'm going to go devil deal here, and I'm very glad that I did. Um, it's kind of annoying that we don't have a charge here, because taking limit to be nice, but I'd actually rather have this anyways. And we go down. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, I'm trying to decide whether this would be worth it or not, because it'd be a somewhat hard fight, but range is nice. But our range isn't actually that bad. But it's not great either. I'm going to risk it. Okay, we got the Yes Mother transformation as well. Wasn't expecting that. Whatever we do, don't be in the middle of the room when the room finishes either. Good, because it will spawn something. Almost definitely. It spawned a, a bombable chest. Good. Whew. The stress is too high right now. Stress is too high for me. Red chests are good. Even though they can have soul hearts and stuff in them, they could have items just as easily. Another key there's great. We'll take that. This is kind of a hard room in itself. Right here. But freezing is too OP. Too it's too strong. This is a really bad room for us. I really don't like this room at all. I guess we just kind of sit in waits and hope we freeze everything that needs freezing. We did indeed. There's a key. There's another key. We don't need keys at this point anymore. We're pretty good on keys. bomb there. I'm not really going to be red keying all that much here, by the way. I'm going to go for it a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it because we just don't want to be doing too many extra rooms that we don't have to do. Okay, is there another hand? I think there's another hand. No, there isn't. Okay. Another very hard room here. Monstro's lung shots from lead pencil are really, really nice. I'm so stressed. Honestly, I am so stressed. This is the most stressful time in my entire life. This is a very fun run, though. I'm really liking what we've got going on right now. Red key's always fun, as everyone knows. And it's just generally a good time all around. Okay, there's another hand coming in. I think one more hand, maybe two. No, one more. Good. But yeah, Lost is definitely the, the perfect character for this achievement. Just in the fact that you guaranteed getting perfection as well. Get careful of destroying the poops as well here. Destroying a lot of them and it's scary. Oh, Spiked Rock. Ooh, that was very close to us dying there. I did not see that Spiked Rock for a hot minute. There's a bomb. God damn, we just freeze things instantly. It's so good, especially with piercing now as well on top of it all. So very good. Get frozen, y'all. We're stood in, in the spot where items are going to start spawning, so let's get out of there. Oh my god, it's so strong. It's so strong that we can just freeze everything like this. Another key there, we'll grab that. Make sure we go dark path as well here. Super good setup for this boss here. Freeze the hell out of it. If we can, we'll get in there with their salvation as well. Like that. Good stuff. We go down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the floor that I am shitting myself on. This floor has a lot of really fucky rooms that I just have a feeling are going to end up with me... Um, they're going to end up with me accidentally fucking it up. I just I just feel it. Or, or dying. 
that's also something that could happen. I think this is a thingy hand as well, isn't it? Yes, stone hand. Okay, there's a penny. Don't pick that up. Chest there. Don't grab that. These enemies are very annoying. These ones that charge you. There's more of them at the other side of the screen, isn't there? Yes, there is. As I said, these enemies are very annoying. Stop giving me them. Them enemies are just as annoying as well. Wooden chest is fine. We can open that up. Ace of diamonds, we definitely take. Oh, no. I was just about to say we definitely take because we can get rid of a, a full room. But we also turn that full room into fucking um, pennies, which we do not want to take. So don't do that. We can't bomb this guy, so just get ready. Okay, we're not going to be able to salvation this dude. Just stay safe. Okay, I do not like the way he's moving right now. Brimstone can kill us instantly as well, so be prepared for that. We got lucky there. Oh my god. Okay, the flies are the biggest problem here. Careful with the flies. Do not want the flies to fuck us over. We got hit. Don't die. Why is he not stomping? Where are the flies? Oh my god. Scary. We are through. Oh my god. Right, if we take the chests one at a time here, we can take all the items. So let's do that. Ouija board, whatever. Empty vessel, pretty good. Satanic Bible, doesn't matter. And the shovel, doesn't matter. Oh god, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. We are here, but this is this is just where it could all go wrong. Like we get bad bosses. All like this is a very bad boss for us, honestly. I really hate this boss a lot. Especially on Dark Room, it's very hard to see the feet he puts down. Yep, there you go. And there it is. <sighs> cool. I knew it. I just I knew it. Like, Dark Room against that boss is virtually impossible to not get hit. And then we got double whammied. Uh, I was trying to get in there with Salvation to kill him quicker. Maybe not the best idea, but at the same time, I felt like killing him faster was less likely that that would happen. And we just got unlucky. But there you go. We got very, very close doing It's the Key there. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, it was... We, we, we very nearly made it. We very nearly made it. Not a single coin or bomb picked up or heart. But either way, pretty darn good all around. I kind of want to go for another attempt to this episode. We're only on 33 minutes. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm, I'm going to see if, if it... If it ends up being that we don't like get anything good going early on, then we'll move on. But, do you know, that, that was... That was an okay attempt. We did pretty well there. Uh, we could definitely do better. And I really think that, that the complete and utter thing that happened there was just that we got unlucky with the room that we came across. If we'd have came across many other rooms there, I think we'd have been absolutely fine. But we came across a room that just so happens to be really, really bad for us. Two of them um, thingy there gives us actual bombs now, which is really nice. Very, very unlucky. I, I was getting really stressed because I, I knew that the shawl and um, the dark chest are really notoriously bad for ruining that challenge. Because you can either die or pickups can spawn on you very easily in those floors. And, of course, that is exactly what happened to us. We insta-died as soon as we came across that boss. I just, yeah, like I said, I just knew it. I just saw that boss and I, I was like, okay, this is probably it. That boss is super difficult on Dark Room because you just cannot see the shadows of the footsteps that he puts down. Or at least I can't. I find it very difficult. What is it with you giving me, giving me Fire Mind? Okay, we got Lead Pencil again. This is kind of weird. We literally got Fire Mind and re-rolled it into Lead Pencil. Or re-rolled an, an item into Lead Pencil again. Blood Puppy, I feel like I can't really take you. <laughs> I feel like that would be an ill-advised decision. So I'm going to just move on. Right, let's go. 
Let's go. Uh, let's look for a secret room here. I kind of want to get rid of all my bombs and stuff so that I know that I'm on zero. Quickly check in here. I'm going to donate well, my one penny to this guy. Just so I know I'm on zero and zero for those two because then I can be sure that I haven't picked one up. Oh God, I'm so so annoyed at that run. That was that was a, a genuinely very good attempt. It wasn't even the best run either. The run was the run was good. By no means was it bad, but like we could have had so much better runs there. I'm actually just gonna place my like, last bomb on this guy. I know that's kind of a waste this early on to use my bombs like that, but I'm I'm really stressed <laughs> about you uh, accidentally picking stuff up. I'd rather just not have bombs or keys in my inventory. We should be fine here. Almost picks up that soul heart there. The moving box is going to give us a key at least. And a card. And we go down. Oh my god. Turbo Devil deals a little bit better this floor. <laughs> yeah. Spiders. Pretty much nothing for us there. Mr. Dolly's good, but we need to be very careful of the hearts that it drops. Thank God it dropped all red hearts. We can't pick up red hearts. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hard room. Hard room. Hard room. Please go away. One of them, one of them died on spikes, I'm pretty sure, there. Good stuff. Picking up soul hearts is kind of the biggest danger, really, because we can't see when we've picked that up. Like, bombs and keys, we can see when we've, we've accidentally picked one up. But if I accidentally pick up a half soul heart or something, it's very easy for me to not notice. Hematemesis, doesn't matter. <sighs> but yeah, we're not, probably not going to get quite as lucky with the red key going on. Ooh, we got Vanishing Twin. Um, I can't remember how this Vanishing Twin works. Familiar that becomes a clone of the boss when entering a room... Um, clone is slower on a 75%. Yeah, let's try it out. It's a bit of a weird one. It could be kind of dangerous. Well, let's give it a go. It's an item I haven't had before. But why not try it out? Good, good. Oh, goddamn lead pencil. Star of the show. Star of the show of today's episode. Love it. But yeah, I think once we get into the, the habit of doing these runs, we might be okay. We might be able to just like kind of have a reflex to ignore bombs and stuff, but it's just building up that reflex. How did I not get hit there? How on earth did I not get hit there? Also, can we stop finding the item room last, please? <laughs> I'd like to actually be able to use some eternal D6 charges to reroll things multiple times if need be. But that's not allowed here, is it? That's not allowed here. My goodness. Boom bow. Half soul heart there. Dark Bum? I actually think that Dark Bum's pretty good. Because any hearts he's going to get rid of and clean up for us. And he could possibly give us friendly spiders. And he can possibly give us cards and pills. So I think it's kind of worthwhile to, to let him run wild. I think he could be kind of good. Right. Grab that. See what he gives us. Just make sure not to stand too close to him so he doesn't drop a spider or a soul heart directly on top of us. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. It's it, it's a delayed spawn. I mean, obviously, this version of the boss was very, very easy. But it's kind of good that it's a delayed spawn, though. It gives you a chance to get some extra damage on the original first. Okay, that's one. That's Binky. That's rather nice. And, yeah, that's that's both really good. Lots of fire it. Um, And we got this room here, which is a bit of a troll by me. Um, Flight and Spectral both don't care. And I'm not gonna take either of those. I'm I'm not. I'm not. I was debating it, but I don't think it's worthwhile. I don't think it's worthwhile. Right. Take out you boys. Yeah, it's better to kind of keep our angel deal alive than take a just okay devil deal. By the way, if you were wondering why there's a golden troll bomb in that room, that's because that room used to be a massive troll because you used to have to take one item to get the next one. So I thought I'd pay homage to it with my mod and keep it as a somewhat trolly room, but one where you can actually take whichever item you want, even if you don't have flight. 
Okay. But yeah, the vanishing twin thing, I'm apprehensive of it at the minute because it could end up being quite dangerous for us uh, late game. But at the minute, I'm very happy with it. At the minute, I'm very happy with it. I will say that for sure. Extra bombs there we don't need. It'd be great if Dark Bomb would just eat everything up. In fact, um, like Key Beggar and um, all that sort of stuff seems like it could be really, really good with this. Because you want you want to get rid of all the consumables, get them out of your way, and just let him eat them all. I know it's going to turn it into other stuff, but he's at least going to get it out of the way. So many tempting pennies. I don't want them. You cannot tempt me with your uh, your heathenous treats. Okay, got you guys. Standing in the middle of the screen there yet again. That's the biggest habit that's hard to break. Standing in the middle of the screen. Oh, I'll let you I'll let you pick that up, my little fella. I'll let you have that one. Give me a black spider. Yay. Oh, almost walked into that uh, that money there. Oh, map full mapping would be really good as well right now. Being able to get to the boss and item room as quickly as possible and nothing else would be super nice. So be near the middle of the screen. Once again, reminding myself. The, this room here is why we're playing The Lost. This specific room. Because you literally cannot get around that without flight. Literally impossible. More tiers up. Will that even do anything? I don't think it will. I'm going to reroll it. Didn't get anything. But yeah, we're at max tier rate. That wouldn't have given us anything. It would have given us knockback. But I really don't think knockback's worth that much. Even though the reroll ended up destroying it, I think it was still worth the chance. It was still worth the opportunity to get something better. We are we are lacking a little bit though. We do need to Oh no, this is a bad, bad one. We're dead. We are dead. Dead, 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 dead. There is absolutely no heckin' way we survive this. Right? Right? So we've killed one of them, I think. Nope. Nope, we didn't. Okay, run it back one more time. So don't pick up uh, Vanishing Twin, because if you get Bumbo, you literally can't live. It's impossible. Like, that that has to be literally the worst boss on that floor that we could have gotten for it to double. Literally the worst. I cannot think of another boss that would be as bad as that. For that floor, at least. Like, there's a lot of bad bosses for it later game, like Bloat and stuff, but that flaw specifically, that's terrible. Right, do you want to use Lead Pencil again? No, just God's Flesh. Pretty terrible. A key, nice. Oh, really? You're going to spawn one of those guys? Come on now. Another key. Okay, when we're getting just key drops early on, it's very, very nice. I will say that. I will say that indeed. But yeah, we're running this back. I know we're on 43 minutes, so starting a new run at 43 minutes is kind of absurd. But this is a challenge that I want to get done, that I need to get done. So why not give it a few bashes rather than leaving it for a bunch more episodes and then getting it done later? Oh, do you know what? Let's let's do some let's do some restarting a little bit. Just try and get a half decent item to start out with. Ooh. Suplex is pretty good, but at the same time, I do think Suplex could get us killed pretty easily because it lands us on top of enemies. The Halo. That's good enough. All stats up. Or at least most stats up early. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will take pills as well. I am being a bit of a risk taker this episode, so I will do it. Okay, try not to destroy any of the poops if we can. We don't want extra coins flying about. But we, are, we do have Spectral, so it's going to be kind of hard to not destroy poops. Like, these middle ones are, yeah, destined to be destroyed. Extra penny there. No, thank you. We're going to go into this shop here just to donate a single penny. Could get really lucky and give us a luck upgrade, but more so just so that we know how much of everything we have. No keys yet. That's a bit unfortunate. Very horrible room here. In fact, probably one of the worst first floor rooms I've ever seen. Not to mention the red fires. How, how am I not hitting these? Yep, there's one hit. 
And I'm expecting a second, but we might be okay. Ooh, almost picked up that bomb by accident. We're good, though. We are good to go. Extra bomb there as well. But yeah, maybe it's some more defensive stuff for late game would be good this time. We need to get some good Deal the Devils. Deal the Devils have really let us down, apart from that Death's Touch that we got. We've really not gotten very good stuff in that regard. Still no key either. Kind of annoying, because last run we got bad items, but loads of keys. This run we got a good item, but no keys. There's a key. Just one for the next floor uh, item room, so we can use it straight away. That's all I want. Oh god, this guy's a bit, bit annoying. Oh, this, this guy's the one that always charges, isn't he? I hate this version of this boss. He's very... He just, he just takes a very long time to fight. It just takes quite a long time. Come this way, sir. Okay, there you go. We got him. And he's got the monstrous lung attack as well, which is, of course, quite unpredictable. As you can see. Definitely reroll that. Barra soaps way better. Thank you. And we will go down. I'm having fun doing this, though. I will say that. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Do you know what? I think we can take pills. We can afford it. Pretty fly. Really nice. Pretty fly here is very, very nice. So yeah, this floor, we really want a stellar deal with the devil. Just like, I don't know, like more of the void or something like that. Something that's just going to up our DPS by a ton. We had salvation last time, so we need something that's going to match salvation's quality. That's really good. That's uh, some nice defensiveness. It's random. Well, I say random. It's not random, but it's not... It's not... Like, we can't count on it, but it could block a hit here and there. I think it's good enough to be happy about. Right, so now we're pretty much beelining it straight to the boss. I think these guys can hit me over the rocks. I've got to be very, very careful about this. I think if these guys shoot while they're this close to me, they can still hit me. This is horrible. This is another just nightmare-fueled room. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why has that little goober got a spawn? Oh, fucking walk right into a fire because I was checking my mouth. Um, We don't need anything else this floor, do we? Don't think so. I've seen that item room. A oh, haunt? Are you kidding me? We all know how annoying Haunt can be. It's just these dudes. Honestly, this is the hardest part of the fight for me. Like, the Brimstone's bad, but these guys are just... Their movement's horrible. I, obviously, this bit's also pretty bad, because the Brimstone can insta-kill us. Oh, thank you, pretty fly. For saving my life there. Well, saving my holy mantle, should I say. It's just also... He's, the movement of him makes him very annoying to hit. And he's super unpredictable too. Like he just sometimes he just doesn't shoot his brimstone at all. Other times he's like barfing out every two seconds. Just hard to keep track of. Right, uh in here we have something I will re-roll. We'll take sin robes. And we don't care about this uh at all. So we we shall I guess say well should should we just go? No, we should at least go back and uh and get a charge and re-roll it, because boss items can be pretty good. I know that it takes it takes a risk that we die or accidentally pick something up with every extra room we go to. We really want, don't want to go to extra rooms. But at the same time, we could get a key. And also, it could end up yielding something pretty important for the run. Like, if we if we get Pentagram out of this, it would it's going to increase the speed at which we complete future flaws and ease at which we complete future flaws by quite a bit. We might also re-roll it into absolutely nothing, which is what I'm going to bet is the likely outcome. But at least then I can say I tried. At least then I can say I tried. Oh, -ho! yes. Okay. Very worthwhile. Very worthwhile indeed. I do going to rooms like this is annoying. The thing is as well, unless we get pyro, there's no way that we can just bomb out of rooms because we just can't get bombs. And there's so many dead end rooms. I mean, we just went into two back to back here. You can see there's just a lot of them. 
kind of annoying, really. Having all these rooms that we don't need to go into that we can't even bomb out of. It'd be so easy. Pretty Fly just saved my ass again. Where are you, you stupid goober? There you are. Okay, just keep, keep, our, keep our distance here. And got you, and there's a key. Lovely. A theme, unfortunately, isn't very good. Tarot Cloth, however. Very happy about Tarot Cloth. The lovers. We don't care about the lovers, really. But tarot cloth itself, pretty good for when we do get cards. Pretty good. And a pill, we'll take that. Good old purple pill. Another key there, lovely. Another key, lovely. And smack bang. The wafer, unfortunately, doesn't do anything for us. Rerolls into nothing. We're getting great items that we just can't take. Kind of want to go into the shops and buy stuff, but I've got no, got no heckin' money. I was almost like got no heckin' money. Oh, there's money. Take it. No, that's not the point. You stupid. We've got no money because we can't take money. This is a hard room right here. Hate these enemies with a passion. They get knocked back really weirdly. They shoot really sporadically. Just all around pretty horrible. There's another penny. We've been to our item room, so we're good to go. This guy could be a pain. Lots of splitting, lots of moving about. Lots of things to avoid. We did manage to kill a few maggots there by pure coincidence of killing the, uh, the bits over the top of rocks, which is a pretty good way of going about it if you can manage it. Perfection, finally. Good stuff. Another tier up. Really, really good stuff. Um, no devil deal, unfortunately. We took sin rubs from our first devil deal, so let's hope that trend continues of damage upgrades. And we're just kind of speeding along at this point. We don't want to waste our keys on that because it'll most likely just give us more consumables of other kinds. Could give us a bunch of cards too, but I think more likely it's going to give us stuff we don't care about. Ah, oh, really? I needed that charge for... Um, this boss that we're about to fight. <clears throat> nah, we'll, we'll re-roll that. We'll re-roll that. I want to try and get good items this time. I want to try and get damage ups. Um, just stuff that's going to be like more helpful than a range upgrade. You know. There's another key. Also, when we're getting this many keys. Right, let's go back over here and just see if we get anything for re-rolling this bad boy. Speed upgrade, again, don't want speed upgrades. Speed upgrades seem like a bad idea. Seems like I'm just going to end up walking into things. Another terrible, terrible, terrible room here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hate these enemies so much. Ooh, this is also a pretty awful room. Not as bad when you have flight, I will admit, but still not a pleasant room. I just feel like we're going to lose our Holy Mantle any second. I don't think I've hit that champion guy at all yet. It'd be nice to kill him. Oh no, we must have done because he's dead. Um, I think we go back and reroll again. We've got enough charges to be able to still reroll item room. It's a two room charge. I mean, it'll probably disappear this next one anyways, but... Magic Scab, that's luck. Still not good enough. It needs to be like Pentagram or something. It really does. It's a tricky one. We're sort of shooting for the moon at this point. Shooting for the moon. I'm really liking our fire rate and damage this run, though. We're in a very good spot with that. Item room's here, finally. Ow. Instantly hit by fucking stupid pin enemies. Right. Check this. Yeah, damage upgrade. I know it's not a great damage upgrade, but it's a damage upgrade. And the, the other one, it's good, but it's not good enough. Lots of bombs. Don't accidentally walk into those. When we get rooms like that, it makes me just want to leave the floor immediately without going back and doing our due diligence, because I just feel like I'm going to end up walking back 
through the room and careening into it because I'm like moving too fast or whatever. Okay, this guy creating poops shouldn't be too bad. There's a bomb. Can't bomb this guy, which is normally the tried and true tactic. Shouldn't be too bad. I can't remember what champion version this is. Is this just charge version? No spawning, just charging. I think it is. Seems that way. Seems to be aggressively charging non-stop. But I do not know. You got him. Oh, Jesus Juice, really, really good. We need that range as well. And Whore of Babylon is also really, really good. Does give us a speed upgrade. I will, I will know. It does give us a speed upgrade that we didn't want. We're just going to be have to have to be slightly more cautious, especially if we get Curse of the Maze. Unfortunately, Curse of the Blind for me is a bit of a no-no here. Like, I don't feel like we should pick up items on Curse of the Blind. I don't know, though. I mean, our run's good enough at the minute. Like, we don't have to pick up items to succeed really here. But I don't maybe, maybe we just shouldn't. But also, we could miss out on some good stuff. Sack there. We don't need the keys, so I'm not bothering with the sack. Definitely good to go in here because we could get like Book of Shadows, which I definitely take over Eternal D6. Or um Lemmageddon. Although that's that's another item that could be kind of risky. We'll grab them both. Satanic Bible. Oh, actually. Okay, we got Book of Shadows. I'm gonna take Satanic Bible because then we get Duel the Devil items on all of our um all of our bosses, which seems super, super valuable. I know that I've just said Book of Shadows would be so good. And it still would, I agree. But at the same time, every single boss giving us a deal with a devil item that we can take for free seems pretty, pretty, also pretty useful. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this room's terrible. This room's terrible. Do not do that again. Oh my god. I always forget these guys can shoot the black balls because they just do it so rarely. Do not touch me again, sir. Do not touch me again. You're dead. Good. There's one more of you, isn't there? Yes, there is. Annoyingly so. Penny there. Yeah, we only need to use the book once per floor to get the deal of the devil item. But it's a pretty it's a pretty good setup, really, I think. It could it could yield some really good stuff. It could also yield some not so good stuff, but I think overall, it's a good choice. We didn't mean to our item room yet. We need to go back for that. That guy seems faster than normal. What the hell? Right, item room, item room. That, that, like, rooms like this, where you got a bomb just in the center like that, they're the ones that get me. They're the ones where normally it's just so, it's just so automatic to just grab that sort of stuff. This is why I like chest spawning more often. Okay, bad room, bad room. Wow, that guy was fast. I said I wasn't going to take it. I said I wasn't going to take it, but I changed my mind. I changed my tune. And honestly, a little haunt's fine. Fearing enemies randomly could be annoying, but overall it should be pretty okay. This guy without salvation is a lot, lot less appealing. We do have gaps though, which makes him significantly easier than normal because the rock spikes that he does when he jumps cannot hit us. Also, he cannot roll into us. Also, if he's feared, he jumps away from us, which is also really, really good. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That little fucking brimstone dude just wouldn't die. So we get Incubus. Yes. <laughs> That's so good. That is so, so good. Right, pop that again. Oh, I just don't think it matters. I just don't think it matters. Why, why would we Why would we spend the extra time and effort doing that room when it's not going to yield anything useful to us? Right. Just just got to keep remembering. Just got to keep on, on top of the fact that we're doing... This isn't just a normal run. Don't let my mind wander. This is It's the Key. We've got to be careful. This is It's the Key. I really do like the fact that we've, found, we've sort of figured out this cool little chest play that we can do here. It's very helpful. 
fact that perfection is just giving us chests instead of regular items, making our room drops more common, but slightly safer in the long run. Good. Nice and easy room there. Incubus here was an incredibly good pickup too. Incubus should, well, I say should, it does just literally double our damage, so. I always forget you got to kill these skulls. The dank ones. No bomb for us, thank you. Blood puppy again. Sorry, blood puppy. I cannot trust you. It's the most frustrating thing with it's the key, though, because you get runs like this, and all you have to do is accidentally pick up a single penny due to some bullshit, and you're screwed. Right, get on the spikes. This is uh, that bomb. We could have easily run into that by accident. I do love the map just covered in chests. Who needs Guppy's tail, eh? Who needs Guppy's tail when you have 10, um, ooh, bad room, bad room, when you have 10 luck? Stay out the center of the room as well. The D4, no thank you. Right, I'm going to start opening chests here to try and get a few keys back. We got one back, that's all I need for now. Bad room. Okay, good, we managed to salvage that. Got some of these hoppy boys. I think we got all of them then. In one go. Very nice. Got some more hoppy boys here. These guys can super easily hit me. So can these dudes, actually. <laughs> Anything that's moving around in unpredictable ways is my worst nightmare. Right, make sure we've used this. I couldn't remember if we had. I'm pretty sure we had the... Good old mother. Oh, so it doesn't matter on this floor. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, we don't have anywhere near the power. Okay, we're dead. Okay, Tooth and Nail just saved me, so that's pretty good stuff. Please go away, horrible enemies. Come on, get out of nubbin. What are you doing? Thank you. Very scary. Dark path, devil deal. Where is this bot? Where's this enemy? There you go, got him, got him. Give me that. There's no point going into boss rush because we can't teleport out. I really should have brought something to think, like, think about that and do that. Go ahead here. While only leaving us two extra deal with the devils, it could be two extra deal with the devils that make the difference. Cares the lost here, however. Very annoying. Oh god, this room is terrible. We are getting some really, really rough rooms at the minute. I will say that. Some just really horrible and difficult rooms. Like, look at these dudes at champions. They just don't die. Just remember, it's it's the key. We don't want nothing to do with anything. Incubus is definitely really helping out here, but I think we need, like, one more really good Devil Deal item to really send this one, send this one flying. Send this one, like, ready for the lamb. Because <clears throat> you got to remember, we still got to survive Shoal and um, the, the Dark Room and get to the lamb. That was kind of close. Bow. No soul hearts for us. That's a bad placement of soul hearts. We have to go back through that room. Let's be careful when we re-enter that room. Fuck. Got hit. Stay over the gaps. Right. Careful with these soul hearts. I think this is the right way. It feels like it at least. Okay. Careful with the, uh, the poops. They're going to drop coins. Most likely. Luckily, none have so far. Good job luck doesn't affect that. Otherwise, that would be a major problem. Good. Annoying room, but we're okay. Managed to bomb them again. Great stuff.
No bombs for us, thank you. Here is our boss room. Take out you. And you. And you. We have used our satanic Bible. We've already used it. I remember. I mean, also, we only just charged it again, which we couldn't have done if we hadn't have already used it this vlog. We've been through way more than six rooms. This is a particularly annoying boss for us just because of the teleporting. If you teleport behind us, it could be problematic. But luckily, the staying that side of the screen makes it a bit easier for us. Brimstone bombs is good because it gives us five bombs. That's also really good because it gives us some damage. Okay. Oh, my God. My God. Damn. Fucking jumpy boys again. Remember, this is uh, the room that we got fucked over in before because of the stupid spiked rocks. Be careful. There's a key. We need that. I mean, we don't actually need it, but I might as well pick it up. Lumps are about... Where are the lumps? I killed one of them. Oh, there's you. Hello. And there's you. Hello. Haunted Chestnut. Thank you. Alright, take these guys out one at a time. Best way to do it. Luckily, champions ones of these don't matter. Imagine if all the babies they created were champions as well. And had, like, extra health and, like, did whatever the champion did on death. Oh, God. Horrible. Uh, but if they dropped what they dropped, that'd be fucking great. <laughs> but it would be kind of hard. Having five bombs now is making me weary. Because obviously I'm like, did I pick up bombs? But no. Got them from Brimstone Bombs. Remember that. Charm of the Vampire keeps healing us up. Not that we need it. There's another key. Another one of these guys to go at. Okay, you are on spikes. Can you even pop your head up while you're there? You can, but you just die when you do it. Good good news for us, I suppose. Right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, I knew it. Anyways, we'll leave the episode there. We'll leave it there. I just... I find the mum fight as, like, lost, tainted, lost so hard because of those laser eyes because they can hit you so easily and you've got to kill them so fast that you end up basically having to completely ignore all of Mother's attacks. And also, I definitely think that our speed is what killed us in that sp specific scenario. I was just moving too fast. I just couldn't handle it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a fun one and I'll see you guys in the next one.